guys welcome to my channel so today I have this $40 wig install for you guys this is from Amazon my first time ever putting on a wig my first time ever having colored hair I mean I've done like weaves but I've never had a full-on wig before this is um, like a royal blue color blueberry color again from Amazon completely synthetic I do the bald cap method added some baby hair straightened it out if you guys want to see how I took this wig that you see right here And made it into this right here then go ahead and keep watching don't forget to subscribe leave me a comment thumbs up share this video hit the post notification bell because I would love to have you guys stay around for my channel again please help me get to 200 subscribers if you want to be entered in my lash brand called Glambra I'm giving away free 3d mink lashes go ahead and subscribe leave a comment you will be entered in my giveaway um, just go ahead and subscribe leave a comment so you guys can win some free lashes y'all because they're bomb again my lash brand is named Glambra I am Lexi this is my channel thank you so much for tuning in now let's get started with this wig slay here and out of my Amazon package it comes in this pink silk bag and it says e-wigs on the top and it's like a drawstring bag and then inside comes the wig oh, I just almost hit myself with the bag and I oh. inside comes the wig and then you also get um A thank you card, a wig cap, and then some lashes that I will not be wearing. So, yeah, I'm probably going to give them to my niece or something. But if you guys want real lashes, go to Glam Brat Lashes down below and shop. They're only $8. So, now I'm going to apply my wig cap for y'all comes with the wig cap that's your skin color I hope this doesn't you guys oh my god <sighs> oh my god help <gasps> oh my god oh there's two duh so let me just undo my hair real quick cause this ugh. This is actually a mess, okay? Let me put on. <laughs> this is actually crazy. So I'm just very roughly putting my hair in a ponytail and covering it with a wig cap. And I did do it messily. You guys could do it a lot neater, but I just did mine just for a quick practice run. I will be doing the bald cap method okay so I changed my shirt real quick and you're gonna pull down the wig cap and spray got to be free spray And I'm just putting the got to be free spray on the perimeter of my hair. You your hair or something? Yeah. Are you doing your wig? wig? Yeah. Oh. Should I like? What? What? Where's my do? hair back? My name is Ivy. Can they see you? Uh, the camera? Yeah. My name is Ariella. Okay, give me that blow dryer. Oh, never mind. I can move. It's okay. Sure. And then I'm going to go ahead and blow dry this so that it sticks. I 
should never put a thing up there. So this is my background who freaking cares so I'm doing it in sections and it's working like really well so it's sticking I didn't think it was gonna stick and what I was too lazy to do I forgot to like brush my hair back so guys make sure you do that because I didn't do that so I put the got to be spray everywhere on the perimeter and it's really I have like little tiny hairs right here and it's like ripping my skin whatever so I'm gonna take my scissors and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the perimeter. And making sure I do it very carefully to not get too close to my real hairline. Okay, so now I got that done. I'm going to take some of my foundation and make try to make myself look bald. So take that on a brush. Oh, that's kind of dark. I should have did this with powder. Oh, well. And just a little to make yourself look as bald as possible. So this is what the wig looks like when you take it out. It has like a hairnet. Let me take it off. Girl, she gonna be she gonna be Harley Quinn. Okay. I really just wanted to get like a fake wig so I could practice with before I actually spend like my money to make a wig. Cause I wanna um get some bundles, some 613 bundles, blonde, platinum blonde ones. Um that's what 613 bundles are. And hold on. And um watercolor watercolor dye them and then make them into a wig but for now this is the wig what should we can we give her a name because this is my first ever wig and I don't know what to name her this is it has the lace inside pretty looks pretty standard has an adjustable like looking bra strap <laughs> has two combs on each side one comb also in the back comes with this two two inch part right here that everyone says that they don't like so um they wish the parts go back further so it can make it look more realistic but yeah this is how the wig is it's not very tangly at all um but who knows when i put it on my head it probably will so yeah, I probably, I need to pluck it and fix the part once I put it on, but we're just going to go ahead and dive in guys. I've never put like a wig on, like I've put like a play wig on, I'm pretty sure, but I never like literally fit a wig to my head. So we're going <laughs> to, ew, why does it look like this? And I, ooh. ooh. This is way too small for my head. What? Is the lace blue? Oh no, it's like... Oh, she, she freaking... What am I thinking? Like, I feel like I'm, I'm over here thinking I'm going to be a pro when I put on the wig, but it's actually not going to be good. Oh, heck no. This switch... <laughs> okay. First of all, this is pulling my edges. I thought that 
I was going to be able to make this look cute and that's not happening. It's pulling my edges. It's hurting. Everything's pulling. It's... Oh, okay. Just don't have it pulling your skin because I, I didn't, um... I didn't make my hair like very flat so therefore the wig cap is pulling really hard so let me just put some mousse in here this is um, some mousse so that some wrapping lotion setting lotion okay she cute she cute okay this is so that I can get all the baby hairs away because they are flying in my face y'all Oh, this is fun. As soon as girls put the the mousse on their wigs, they be looking like they have it all together. And that's what I'm... Oh, I got it on the waist. Dang it. Probably shouldn't have did that. They be seeming like they have their wig, their wig together already as soon as they put the mousse and put the hot comb through it. So maybe that'll be me. Oh, yes. Okay, so you guys see how my wig cap is like... I need to take a little bit more off and that's what a lot of people do they have to like you know see how the wig fits them and then make adjustments and then I had to go back and make adjustments and trim off some excess lace from um, the perimeter of my hairline All right, now I'm not doing it with glue because I'm not a professional and it does not need to be on for that, um, that long at all. So pull it over to where you feel it needs to be. I think that looks pretty good right here. So I'm going to spray. got to be spray I'm gonna pull the lace and blow dry so the outlet for my blow dry was too far so that's why I'm bending over in this clip you guys I feel like I have a facelift. Oh my gosh, I think it looks so cute. Oh my God. So, I mean cute as in like I actually applied it. Not like, oh my gosh, I laid a wig. I didn't lay it flat as I could. Like this is really just like a practice round. Um, What was I going to say? Um, Yeah, it looks pretty okay. I think the part is not straight but it is what it is i don't know what i'm supposed to do with my sideburns i think i was supposed to like ow it's really hurting i'm just gonna cut it i'm just gonna cut the lace and really just whatever because i'm at this point i don't know what else to do All right, and I just jumped right into cutting the lace, making sure to do zigzag motions with the scissors, and that keeps it from looking super straight across the hairline, which makes it look even more fake. So just cut off as much of the lace as you can to make the wig look more natural. I'm not that good at this. This is my first time, but hopefully you guys can get, um, you know, just the gist of how you're supposed to cut the wig. By the ears, I totally messed up and just started cutting the hair, but I had already committed, so I just kept cutting. Um, and yeah, so that's what I did and I continued to do it on the other side as well. You can split it into sections. It makes it a little bit more easier to do. Oh, 
look at this freaking piece of lace that is so much compared to this side I really did good on this side it's just the sideburns like I don't know why I did that because now you can't freaking see the bald cap should have been right there so that was my mistake but whatever I don't want to cut my face Okay, now I'm going to cut the excess lace. And the lace didn't go that much over my ear over here because I think I did it. I did it a little crooked, so. Um, I'm going to clip the hair back so that I can cut the lace. <gasps> I just cut. <laughs> I cannot do this. Imagine if I did this with hair that was expensive. Like it would have been so look at the look at that. That looks terrible. <gasps> the clip is stuck. Okay, I'm getting irritated now. Oh. I'm getting for real irritated. I low-key like hate this lace right here. I should have gelled my hair down. It's irritating. I think I'm going to do it better tomorrow. I think I'm going to come back with my hair prepped and ready to go. This is the lace front. <laughs> That's the side. That's the side. The sides are terrible. Let's just say that. The sides are disgusting um and yeah so but I think it looks pretty good like in the front you could see the wig cap a little bit so I'll probably put some foundation right there but I like how it gives me a facelift I like how you can't see any of my real hair I like because this is my first time ever with the wig on like literally so <laughs> I like how you can't see my real hair. You literally have to create a whole new hairline. And I just like how like it literally looks like the blue hair is coming out of my scalp. I will definitely have to cover the baby hairs on the side. I have to do like some sideburns, maybe baby hair in the front. But I need to establish a part because right now I just like messed up the one that it already comes with. Alright, I like how it looks. I think it would look better if it was straight. So right now I'm just literally brushing it out. It's tangling guys. Like it's synthetic. It looks shiny. All this hair is blue hair is coming out. Because the only thing we've did so far is we put it on. So now we gotta make it look good. Alright, and I'm beginning to put in mousse because that does make the hair look a lot better. It makes it lay more flat. And this is just some wrapping setting lotion that I'm putting and combing throughout my hair. It also works better if you have a hot comb to brush through that mousse. It makes it even more straight, more silky looking um, at the roots and more flat, which makes the wig look more natural. But I didn't have a hot comb, so I just used my mousse, combed it in, and straightened it with my straightener.
synthetic wig so I don't know how well it's going to straighten. It might burn, it might melt so I really don't know but we're going to find out together and if you're not already subscribed just go ahead and subscribe guys. Please go ahead and subscribe. I would love for you guys to stick around and hit the post notification bell. Hit the bell so that you can um, know every time I upload. And so shedding like crazy literally shedding like crazy so I'm actually gonna turn up the heat to 380 degrees instead of 280 I'm taking it to 380 because it's it's warm but it's not hot at all yeah I'm straightening it it's looking pretty good let me show you guys like how long it is see that it's cute goes past my bra and it's really cute and this wig was $40 on Amazon um 40 bucks I think like after tax it came out to like 45 45 dollars um but yeah so I'm going to wait till the straightener warms up then I'm gonna speed this part up we're gonna have it looking sleek and straight and then afterward we'll touch back at the hairline to do the baby hairs so the flat iron that I was using is not that hot I didn't want to use my really hot straightener because I didn't want to burn the hair but it ended up being fine so I will go back later and re-straighten this wig to make sure that it's bone straight I should do my baby hair with this or with mousse I think I'm gonna do it with mousse cut the hairs ah, I'm scared I already did it and there's no going back so put some mousse on there and this part the edges are pretty self-explanatory so I just decided to speed it up and show you guys what my edges ended up looking like Cutting this hair off. Oh my god. Oh no. Do the baby hair. Uh, I'm gonna take this piece right here. <sighs> Comb it out. Try to like straighten it like it would look with the hot comb. Okay, she's sitting up. Like you know how they like make it go up right there. Did a little baby hair right here. It didn't stick. I don't know why I just cut that piece of hair off like that. Did not stick. Um, I'm gonna try to like do it like that. Oh my god, that looks kind of like crazy. Oh 
Oh my goodness. I'm a, I like how they like make it look when they they kind of put it behind their ears. Um, but then they also have like the hot comb to put it behind their ears. Ooh. I look like an elf. They're from um, Lord of the Rings. And how they have the air, the piece of hair hanging right here. Okay, she's looking kind of nice. Okay, now let's do a baby hair on this side. <laughs> this is so funny to me. Like, I don't know why. But it's because I've never worn a wig. So, like, this is literally all new to me. Um, I'm just gonna. Cut this one a little bit. So I think this baby hair is, I didn't cut it that long. There we go. Yep. There we go. Period. Period. Got the, ba the baby hairs. The baby hairs. Makes it look good. Makes it look like, okay, I could really be wearing this. Maybe it looks like my hair after all. But the hair quality, if this was real hair, I would say that I did a good job or I did a good job period but if this was real hair I would definitely be like okay cool I'm ready to wear this but since it's so fake it looks so shiny and stuff even though I did a good job on the application I I don't think I'm going to wear it like out because it really does look super fake super shiny but maybe um yeah it looks super fake super like shiny but you know it's fake so if this was real hair i'd be like down maybe if i put it in a bun because i feel like wearing it down it just looks hella fake but that's fine like i everyone knows it's fake because it's a it's not my real hair color but i don't want it to look like i'm wearing a 99 cent wig from the dollar store you know what I'm saying? Put over. Put some of the mousse. You know how it goes. The mousse and swoop. Mousse and swoop. Period. Mousse and swoop. A mousse and swoop. This, ugh. This is the worst part. All these little flyaways makes me hate this wig so much mousse and swoop hey see them baby hairs period period this is the wig um $40 on Amazon if you guys want to check it out if you guys need to practice if you just want a synthetic wig for whatever whatever you need a synthetic wig for I would I don't know if I would recommend this one <laughs> but maybe all synthetic wigs are like this I'm just not used to wigs this is my first time ever putting on a wig guys if you liked this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe and stick around hit the post notification bell and i love you guys thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment please leave me a comment so that you can be entered into my lash giveaway also subscribe once you subscribe and comment you are entered to win a free pair of mink lashes from my lash brand glam brat um so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one